We present our Project Electro AR a visual and tactile sharing system for hand skills training. It is a joint project between Skoltec and the University of Electrocommunications of Tokyo. Nowadays we can find several commercial virtual training platforms with a very developed visual interface. However, they do not provide enough haptic interaction. As we can see in the pictures, the tactile information is provided by simple hand controllers. They don't deliver enough information for teaching hand manipulation skills. The three systems provide a good visual feedback but if we pay attention to the user's hand, we can notice that they use one conventional controller with few contact points at the fingers. It is not enough for transmit hand manipulation skills. Several technological areas are related to this work. The most representative is 3D geometric shape recognition. This project was presented in the conference IEEE Computer Graphics and Applications 2016. It provides touch and forces haptic feedback but only one contact point per fingertip. Related to the wearable haptic feedback for grasping in VR, Dexter's is a project which provides a good cutaneous and kinesthetic feedback. Unfortunately, their mechanical components increase its complexity. Another important technology is distributed stimulation. 3D printed haptics is a project that can render patterns with three degrees of freedom. The disadvantage of this idea is the pneumatic system. It is bulky and heavy. Finally, the closest technology related to this project is electro-tactile stimulation at the fingertips. This technology has several advantages. The most important is the possibility of stimulating multiple points per fingertips. This technology is over development, and it is necessary to improve the pain sensation that can be caused and is needed to stabilize the straight sensation on time. This project's main goal is to develop a visual and tactile sharing system for hand skills training to provide a high-quality perception of 3D-shaped objects using a haptic electro-tactile system for artificial environments. The project is divided into three stages. 1. Implement a tactile stimulation algorithm based on a random modulator. 2. Develop an electro-tactile spatially distributed stimulation system. 3. Combine the electro-tactile system with a virtual training environment for hand manipulation skills. The next scheme shows how the data of 3D-shaped objects are transformed into electro-stimuli. Everything starts with the 3D-shaped objects data. This data is obtained directly from a sensor glove or datasets. This information is adjusted to the number of electrodes that will be in contact with the fingertip. As a result of this process, we get an intensity matrix of n by n dimension. This matrix will be the input of the random modulator. It is a mathematical method that evaluates this analog information and transforms it into an electrode state array matrix. The electrode's array matrix will provide the on-off state for each electrode of the electric tactile glove. This electro-tactile stimulation will be applied in an artificial environment to provide a more realistic perception of the virtual objects. The visual feedback presented on this scheme is structured by two cameras through the user can receive the local view from one side to another using a head-mounted display. Tactile feedback is presented in the next scheme. Here on one side, the user collects pressure data from touching objects and sends them through serial communication to the remote side. Another user will receive this data and represent them to the electro stimuli at the fingertips. A sensor glove is used for recording the tactile data of the 3D objects. This device is composed of a sensor array with 50 pressure sensors distributed in a matrix of 5 by 10. Here you can see brief parameters of this device. Below we can see the application to visualize pressure changes on the glove. The device presented is an electro tactile glove which stimulates the fingertips. Professor Hiroyuki Kajimoto developed it at the University of Electro Communications of Tokyo. It is composed of an microcontroller and a multi-contact electrode array. Each array contains 21 electrodes. The device works with anodic stimulation that produces vibration and spatially confined sensation. The mathematical component of this system is the random modulator. It is an alternative for the traditional frequency modulation. It is a mathematical algorithm that uses a probabilistic function f and an iterative condition of activation. It evaluates each intensity value and converts them in an electrode state with an excellent temporal resolution of 120 Hz.
a preliminary experiment is developed for calibrating the probabilistic function f. The objective of this experiment is to collect data for fitting the random modulator's function. The experiment was performed with seven participants, using six different levels of intensity, changing the strength perception from 0 to 100%. The procedure for the experiment is as follow. In the beginning, the user was asked to find a comfortable and recognizable stimulation level 100%. Each trial starts with a 100% intensity stimulus. After that, the modulated stimulus is presented 0% to 100%. In the end, after each trial, the user must estimate the second stimulus given percentual scale. As a result of this experiment, we get the tendency line showed in the graph. It is a sigmoid function. It is not a surprise. Several social and human events follow this tendency. Using this dataset, we can do a mathematical regression and fit the probabilistic function. MATLAB software was used for this purpose. The coefficient values a, b, and k of the function are presented. Finally, the algorithm needs to have a function which input will be the straight stimulation. As output, we can have the activation probability for each element. This is the inverse sigmoid function. From this experiment, we can get a random modulator with a variation range from 10% until 80% of the user's total strength perception. This algorithm will be used in the next experiments. Two additional experiments were designed to evaluate the electro-tactile system. First static pattern recognition. The objective of this experiment is assets electro-tactile displays capacity to present the bar-shaped orientation. This experiment was applied to seven volunteers with 28 trials per person. The stimulation was applied at the index finger. The experimental setup is as follow. First, each orientation pattern is presented to the volunteer in a training session. In the experimental session, for each trial the volunteer takes contact with the electrode array until he recognizes the pattern. When the volunteer identifies the pattern, he takes off his finger to avoid overstimulation at his fingertips. The experimental results revealed the average recognition rate of 80%. The maximum recognition rate, 87% accuracy, was observed for the pattern with horizontal alignment, 0 degrees, and the lowest, 73% accuracy, for the pattern with vertical alignment, 90 degrees, the median exploratory time around 6 seconds. Most the volunteers' recognition time ranges between 4 and 10 seconds for all the patterns. The pattern with the horizontal orientation, 0 degrees, has the shortest exploratory time, 1.24 seconds. On the other hand, the patterns with the vertical, 90 degrees, and right orientation, 135 degrees, have the longest exploratory time, 15.38 seconds. As was mentioned before this system requires visual feedback. The concept is that the student performs the training according to the expert's direction transmitted from another place. Two users are located in different places, and one of them is wearing the HMD. We call user A expert, and user B learner. The left user A is who can direct the correct movements of the training, and another B is who learns, and executes the task following the expert's directions. The communication to the learner is provided by headphones and 3D display which represents movements of the hands from the opposite side. At the same time, from the remote side, the expert can see whole movements of learner with a frontal and superior view of the learner's workspace. For this reason, two cameras are installed in the upside and front directions for having full view information for the expert. The dynamic pattern perception experiment will allow us to asset the effectiveness of the system at the moment to provide movement sensations at the fingertips. This experiment will be performed in a virtual environment for creating a realistic experience that improves user interaction. Before starting the virtual reality experiment, it is necessary to analyze the haptic patterns generated for a basic human action like griping and scrolling objects with two fingers, thumb and index finger. The sense of pressure distribution on the skin surface permits us to know the current contact condition between the skin and the object. Therefore, Tactile information is important to perceive an object's shape. For this analysis four bars were designed, all of them with the same transversal section but with different geometrical shapes, hexagon, cylinder, triangle and square. After analyzing of tactile patterns we implement them into the VR environment, where the user will be provided of a visual and distributed electro-tactile feedback. The visual feedback is presented in two videos located in the frontal view and in the top view of the virtual experimental table. 
the tactile feedback will be delivered for two fingertips, right hand index and thumb fingers. The user should recognize the patterns by using another haptic device, electro-tactile glove. Combination of tactile and visual feedback can give better results in defining 3D patterns. This experiment was performed with eight volunteers, and the procedure is as follow. The volunteer is asked to scroll the real shaped bars as a training preparation. After the volunteer wears an electro-tactile glove and a head-mounted display. Into the VR environment the volunteer is asked to mimic the hand motion presented in the video with his thumb and index fingers. Simultaneously with the video a tactile stimulation is presented at fingertips. The volunteer is asked to identify the pattern presented and select one of the real shaped bar presented at the training session. The experimental results revealed the high average recognition rate of 53.75%. The maximum recognition rate, 65% accuracy, was observed for the pattern with cylindrical shape, and the lowest, 40% accuracy, for the pattern with square shape. The median exploratory time rounds 6 seconds. Most the volunteers' recognition time ranges between 8 and 18 seconds. The median exploratory time is close to 13 seconds for the patterns with hexagonal, square and cylindrical shape. For the pattern with triangular shape the median exploratory time is longer, 16 seconds. The pattern with the cylindrical shape has the shortest exploratory time, 9.3 seconds. The pattern with the triangular shape has the longest exploratory time, 17.9 seconds. Random modulation provides an alternative method for delivering strength sensations with a linear stimulation range between 10% and 80% of intensity level. Distributed stimulation on fingertips allows users to have a high-quality spatial perception of shaped objects. The average recognition rate of static shapes is of 80%. Electro-tactile stimulation enhances 3D object perception in artificial environments. The average recognition rate is 53.75%. Thanks for your attention.